home now. So it is 1040 and the snacking at this time has become a little bit ridiculous. So I thought that I would try to make a semi-healthy idea. So I am making apple nachos and I thought I would show you how I use my uh, mandolin. So I just have it set on six here because I kind of wanted it to be thick but not super thick. And then I have my apple. You take your, um, the guard and the thing that I really, really love about this guard is the fact that when you're holding it, your entire hand is covered. So there's no possibility of you getting um, hurt or cut. So I have my, it asks, the recipe calls for a serving tray. I'm not gonna make that many, so I just have one of my favorite plates. I take the guard and you just, oh, I did a, <laughs> it's my husband. Every day he's like, are you making another video? Yes, I am, because I'm bored and that's what you do when you're a Tupperware rep, you make videos. So I'm just going to cut them like this. Now if you have something that is a little bit stubborn, you can just give it a little wiggle. And it cuts like that. Now when you're doing this recipe, there is no need to pour it. I'm sure you could if you really wanted to, but it's not necessary. And then you get your lovely apple slices. And then you can just arrange them nicely, or not nicely, you can arrange them any way you want really, on your plate. And then I'm going to take some caramel sauce. I said kind of healthy, right? It's kind of healthy still. And then because you can't be too, I have some chocolate shavings that I have done. Just going to put that on top of it like this. Again, I say kind of healthy. Kind of. It's dark chocolate, so that's healthy too, right? And then here you have your apple nachos. So I'm going to go enjoy these and have a great night, everyone. <laughs>